In interviews during skill test, you will be asked to create a panda series using different methods like a list, array, dictionary to test your basic knowledge. So it's important you should know how to create a series. In this video, you will learn how to create a series using different ways. Let's import pandas as pd. Now to create an empty series, we just have to call the method series. So I'll make one variable e, then I will call from this pd, I will call the method series and then I will press enter. And if I print e, you will see that it is a series, but it's a blank series. Now we can also create a series with some uh, values. Let's say I'll make one variable df and then I will call this pd.series and inside this I will pass one list and inside this I'll pass some uh, random values let's say I will pass some color names red, blue, green and let's say one more color yellow let, let us execute our code so here in the output you can see we got this series here and the data type is given as object if you want to check its type you can write here type of df and here in the output you will see it says it is pandas.code.series.series so it's a pandas series and we can also create a series from a list i'll make one list and the list name will be l inside this i will pass some fruits name let's say apple mango then orange and grapes so if i print this list object l so you will see in the output we have this fruits here apple mango orange and grapes and this this is a list now we are going to convert this list into a panda series i'll make one variable s and then from pd i will call series method Inside this, I will pass this object L and now let us print S. So here in the output, you will see we got the series here and we have this fruit names, apple, mango, orange and grapes. And you will see here by default, the index will start from zero. So this is the index. This is indexing and it is starting with zero, then one, two, three and so on. If you have more samples and it will be numeric. But we can also give our own index. Suppose you don't want this default index, then we can also pass our own index. For that, we will have to pass one argument. So I'll copy this code from here, paste it here. And inside this, I will pass one argument and one parameter. That parameter name is index. And this will be a list. And inside this, I will have to pass the same number of index that is the length of this uh, list. So you see here we have elements 1, 2, 3 and 4. So we have to pass here 4 index numbers. So let's say instead of giving the number, I will give the index number index as A, then B, then C and then one last T. And now if I print S, so here in the output you will see now we have index of our own choice which is a b c and d so by default you will have this index but you can pass your own index so you just have to use this parameter index and then you have to pass that index values here now we can also create a series with an array so first i will import the numpy i will import numpy as np i'll create an array so i'll save in that variable a from np i will call this array function and inside this i will pass some number let's say 50 100 150 and 200 and if i print this a so you will see this this is an array and we can create a series out of this array so what we need to do is now i'll make one new variable let's say df1 then i will call pd dot series and inside this I will pass this array which is in A and then I will print df1. So here in the output you can see we got the series here and we can also check its type. I will write type of A. So 
type of A is ND array. I have to check the type of DF1. And here you will see in the output it is pandas.co.series.series. .series .series. So it's a panda series. Next we will create a series using dictionary. I'll make one variable D and then I'll make one dictionary. My first key will be A and its value will be 10. Second key will be B, its value will be 20. And third key will be C and its value is going to be 30. Now let's just print D. So we have this dictionary here in this variable D. Now I'm going to convert this into a panda series. I'll make one variable df4 and then I will call pd.series and inside this I will pass d here then I will print df4 and here in the output you can see we have created a panda series using this dictionary d. We can also create a series using list of tuples. I'll make one variable t and then I will make a list here and inside this I will create tuple. So for first will be it will have two element A and then 100. The second tuple will have the element B and 200. Third will be C and 300. Now let us execute our code. Now I am going to convert this list of tuples into Panda series, I will make one variable df5, then I will call pd.series and then inside this I will pass t and then I will print df5 and here in the output you can see we have created a series from this list of tuples and you must be thinking that why we are doing this basic stuff and I am doing this because in the skill test you will be asked to do this basic stuff and when you do that you forget it because you don't work on the basics part and that is the reason I have created a video on this topic series. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.